Let's go over how to run payroll in QuickBooks Online. You'll also see how to change an employee's payment method from a paper check to direct deposit. If you need help with adding employees or setting up your payroll taxes, you can check out the links to videos on these topics at the end of this video. Go to Payroll and select Overview. Then select Run Payroll. Make sure the pay period and pay date are correct. If they aren't, you can change them here. You'll see a list of your employees on this pay schedule. If you don't want to pay someone, uncheck the box next to their name. For salaried employees, QuickBooks calculates their pay based on the salary info you provided. For hourly employees, QuickBooks calculates their pay from the time you and your employees entered. If your team uses QuickBooks Time, their hours will automatically appear here for you to approve. Select Approve Time. From here, you can approve individual employees' time. If there is any missing time, select Add Time to enter it. Select Multiple Employees and select Approve to approve the time for everyone you selected. If any hours or pay amounts aren't correct, you can select the line with the employee to edit it. You can also add a memo or change an employee from paper check to direct deposit. Note that to make this switch, you'll need to enter the employee's routing and account number for their bank. When everything looks right, select Preview Payroll. For each employee, you'll see the total pay for the period, the taxes being withheld, and net pay they'll receive. Ensure you have the right bank account selected. Changing this doesn't change the actual bank account you use for payroll. You can change the bank account QuickBooks withdraws money from when you pay your employees in your payroll settings. Once you're ready, select Submit Payroll. Now you can print your pay stubs here. Or, if your employees have access to QuickBooks Workforce, they can view their pay stubs there. Now you're ready to run your payroll in QuickBooks Online.